It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And this one features Josh Jacobs, your standard at running back this season, pacing the league in rushing. It's the Packers and the Rams coming up next. It was only open in 2020, but quickly became one of the league's most recognizable venues. You're looking at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. And just like that, the season has reached October. Joined by Brock Hewitt up here in the booth, I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, I don't know about you, but I always feel like the smell starts to change in October. Just, it just really starts to smell like fall, smell like football, second month of the regular season. And these next few games take on a greater importance moving forward. Gosh, I wish I had a sense of smell. Mine is so, so bad, but I love what you're cooking right there. And I love this stretch of games because it makes a lot of teams contenders and a bunch of the other sellers as the trade deadline arrives here at the end of the month. You're going a hot streak heading into Halloween and things will be looking great. But flounder this month, and you may end up seeing some of your buddies shipped off and playing elsewhere. Has this at the six. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. So the Packers offense getting set for their first drive. Bringing them out, someone who wowed last year in his first chance as a starter, Jordan Love. Two numbers that a lot of people were focused on from his performance last week. That would be three and zero, as in touchdowns and interceptions. That's a quarterback who was efficient, aggressive in the right spots, but he took great care of the football. And of course, well, he cares less about those two numbers. He's more about the alphabet, like that letter W picking up the win in that ball game. Jacobs gets it to start the drive. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. And after the play, we turn our attention to the injured man. That's Christian Watson, who's being worked on. All right, here we go. Second down. They stick with Jacobs. And they limit the damage just a few yards on that game. That tackle made by Kobe Turner. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. His first throw is an interception. Picked off by Tredavious White. And the Rams will take over as he records his first interception of our season. So the first drive of the game ends not in points, Brock, but in INT. And I get it. Opening drives aren't always going to end up with points or a touchdown. Good thing, though, there's a lot of opportunities left to make up for that miscue and go get yourself back at rhythm and back on script. So here come the Rams on offense, ready for their opening drive. And they're brought out by the 16-year pro, rebounded from an injury last season, Matthew Stafford. That's a loss last week, Kate, that he wears. He's worn it all week long, and I know he isn't the only guy out there. There's 11 on the side on every play, but a couple of interceptions, he's going to hold himself accountable. A lot of work's gone into making sure this week's game is an improvement on that. Here's first and 10 from the 34. And they send a man in motion. They fake the handoff now. Stafford finds his back. Kyron Williams. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And with third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. From the 28. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. Kate, I've seen a, a one-step drop. I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions get more depth. But a 20-step drop? <laughs> That's not going to cut it. Except for this defense, it just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. Packers into a nickel defense, third down. Working from the gun, here's Stafford. 
Taking a big shot for the end zone. And oh, he got it! Interception! The rookie from Georgia has it. And the Packers are gonna have it after his second interception of the season. We'll get a pause for an injury. Oh, oh, this is not a good sight. Matthew Stafford, the man in some pain out there following the play. On the set. Drive starts out with the first and ten. Man in motion here. Set. Running on first here with Jacobs. And he found some running room for a nice game. We get a look at his rushing numbers from last week here. What he was able to do in support of that win. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Going run again with Jacobs. Good gain out past the 30. He's at midfield! And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. Hey, look, Kate, you can't just ask one tackler to go mano y mano and stop this guy. You gotta have the cavalry coming. One guy makes a hit, the others are there to clean up and pile on because one-on-one, -on -one, he's gonna run right through you. So the big play moves him well past midfield. Has him set up now at the 35. First down, and they go right back to him. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. And we haven't even hit the break yet, but already we're looking at this likely becoming a 100-yard game for him in the very near future. And expect more to follow after that. Up to the line, and they're set. First and 10. Shotgun give now to Jacobs. And he's able to power this forward, but they stop him after two yards. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, largely be because of a play just like that one. Softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Love out of the shotgun. That one's incomplete. Had the connection, but some stone hands got in the way there. You know, I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or just had a surprise break in concentration. So unusual to see one dropped unless there's a hit involved. Throwing his love on third. Got to him right as he threw it, and it falls to the ground. First time this game they've looked to him. And now they're staring at fourth and long. This is why we hear about closing speed so often when you evaluate players. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released and alter that throw. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that one is going to get them on the scoreboard. Well, I know once that drive stalls out, that's where it really pays to have that reliable kicker on the sideline ready to bail you out. And he knocks that one right through to give him the lead. The Packers about set to kick this one away, and away we go again. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. So the L.A. offense getting out there for their second drive. They threw the interception on their opening drive, Brock, but that's right from their memory as they head back out now. Yeah, it's got to be, right? When we throw that pick early, you've got to flush it. The defense help with that, holding that offense on the other side to just a field goal and giving this offense now some hope as they take the field again. Got Williams, and it's complete. We'll have him gain about a handful there. Jair Alexander with the stop. When there's heat, that blitz coming off the snap, that QB's eyes, you could see it right away. He got to his check down in a hurry. But, Kate, here's the key. Quarterback and running back have to be on the same page. The two were right there, and it netted some positive yards. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. It's now third down.
Stafford now against the blitz. Pressure's there, and he goes down again. And consecutive sacks have them staring at a tough fourth down. The Rams are set to punt. Only a solitary field goal so far as we're through one quarter. Just three to nothing is our score. We'll return to Inglewood in just a moment. Rams going to punt on fourth down, and they're calling Ethan Evans to the field. Coming off four punts in that loss, and he boots his first of this game away. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. The Packers and Josh Jacobs about set to go on offense. And he has run rough shot over them in this opening half. Pretty sure this is the exact kind of start that he was hoping to have here. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Here we go. Ready? Love from the gun. To the right, and intercepted. Picked off by Tredavious White. And the Rams get the football as he makes his third interception of this season. Well, that's now two, Kate, that they've gotten him for picks in this game, and he's got to be careful. But you've got to protect the football. It is the greatest treasure you have as an offense. In this defense, well, they've got two in their pocket, and you know they're going to be going after number three. Possession switching back to the L.A. offense as they head out. And it's far from the first time we're seeing this unit head out, Brock. But what we haven't seen so far in this opening half, well, we haven't seen much in terms of yardage. No, it's like they've written a few lyrics, but nowhere close to a song yet. The first carry now for Kyron Williams. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. Off the play fake, it's Stafford. Throw complete to Williams. And he'll head out of bounds after a short game. Following that completion, remember the O-line looks to be in some pain. They're headed out to take a look at him now. From the 44-yard line now, first and ten. Stafford from the gun. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. That sure ended up being worst case scenario. Pass rush just kept coming and coming and bearing down. And he was looking for an escape that wasn't there. It's just one of those plays in hindsight, Kate, where you really got to understand I got to cut bait, cut my losses, and avoid such a negative play. Let's see what they dial up on a second and very long. Another try following the sack. His pass caught by Nakua. And he gets it past the 50 and down to the Packers' side of the field. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them and the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. Set. Throwing his Stafford on third. Dumped off to his running back. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. Just get this guy touches. I don't care how. I don't care when. Just find unique ways to get this running back the ball. And over time, he's going to make you pay. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. And his job's done, and it is a job well done. That punt fights deep into enemy territory, out of bounds at the seven. They'll get this drive started, first and ten. Play fake, it's love. Taking a deep shot here. And disaster averted. He knocks away the deep ball incomplete. 
You know, ball skills are not just a selling point for receivers entering the draft. Teams want defenders, especially in this day and age of the passing game, who can make plays on the ball, too, especially on these deeper throws. He doesn't swat that one away. We could be looking at a huge game. Ooh, it would have been a big gainer if they connected, but they could not. Instead, third down coming up. You know what I like about this shot down the field, Kate? It keeps a defense honest. They know defensively, if we overcommit, we could get burned deep. Defense with an excellent opportunity at a stop here on third down. Shotgun now for Love. Gets everything he has. He's got it deep downfield. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. How about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset? You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. First down, ball at the 36. Here we go, set. Ready, set. From the gun, it's a give to Jacobs. Oh, man, that just stuns him. That's exactly what you would not think is going to happen on a first down run. Likely need now a big gain on second to try to get back on schedule. Offense to the line for second down. Come on, set. Jacobs running behind center. And he found some running room for a nice game. Call it eight yards on that pickup, and an even ten remain on third down. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. We're at the two-minute warning now from SoFi. And it's the Packers. Dealing with third and still ten to go. Get it to Reed. And it's a nice game, but still not enough for the first. So fourth down, here comes Daniel Whelan to send it flying for the Packers. And this is the first time he's been called on today. Only needed once last week in the win, and he matches that total here. And the fair catch brought in right at the 40. So no return on that punt. And the Rams will take possession. First and 10 from the 41. Back to throw here, Stafford. Nice work by the back here. Playing safety valve complete. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Shotgun snap to Stafford. That's incomplete left side. That is normally a gimme for this offense, these short throws. But the defense, they had just enough influence on that play to force the incompletion. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Ready. Now Stafford to throw. And the Packers are there, he's hauled down. And the defense comes through, that's gonna back him up and bring up fourth down. That is now the fifth sack this offense has had to endure in the first half alone. We're on a double-digit pace here, and I'll tell you what, I know how these defensive coordinators work. They can feel the blood in the water. They are not going to stop getting after this quarterback until this offense can find a way to protect itself. Ethan Evans back out there. They're going to punch it away again. Keyshawn Nixon returning this for the Packers. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this flying. And it ends up a good return for him. Up past their own 40. Nice moves on the return. He gets 17 out of it. And the Packers will take over possession. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Throwing love. Throw came out right as the defense got to him. That's an incomplete pass. No luck finding his receiver that time. And it sets up second down. Set, 
Love now. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. Third and long for him here. Oh, brother, it's another interception. Picked up by Tredavious White. Well, I'll admit, man, I gotta admire the guts, the willingness to continue to challenge the coverage, even with two interceptions already. But there's his third strike. And no, it's not baseball, but he definitely has to be smarter with what he's doing with the football. The Rams are gonna get the football one last time in this first half. Not a whole lot of time left for him to put something together here before the break. They'll begin this drive with barely over 25 seconds left. On first down, here's Stafford. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Tough one to retain through that hit. And it's going to be second down. Stafford now. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. Goodness gracious. This quarterback is taking an absolute beating in this first half. You better have some ice for him ready at halftime. I'll tell you this, Kate. It has been a brutal couple quarters. And if you don't start protecting the quarterback, this guy may not make it and even finish this game. All right, Kate, thanks very much. More from you and Brock in a moment. But first, time for a look around the NFL to see what's going on here and what's already been an eventful afternoon of football. We'll start across the Atlantic in London, England, where you see the final score there. Garrett Wilson, two touchdown catches in the victory. From there, we head over to the West Coast. Check out the Niners at home at Levi Stadium. And they've got the lead over the visiting Arizona Cardinals. Brock Purdy has thrown a touchdown pass. Lastly, let's get to the Windy City. See what's happening with the Bears at home at Soldier Field. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Carolina Panthers. DeAndre Swift. What a game. Three touchdown runs in the victory. If you missed the first half, there's not much to get you caught up on. Just the lone field goal accounting for the entirety of the scoring. A 3-0 game to this point, as both defenses have been strong so far. These two teams making their final adjustments for the second half ahead. It's time to get back at it. And for the call, let's rejoin Kate Scott and Brock Heward. Thanks so much for the look around the league, Coach. But now it's time to turn our attention back to this one as we begin the third quarter. The Packers about set to kick this one away, and away we go again. Return starts at the three. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. The Rams ready to get things started on offense to begin the third. And their defense sure has kept this game close. Now it's time for them to come through, get some points for their team in this low-scoring affair. Here's Williams to start the drive. And his effort results in maybe two yards, but nothing more. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs against the better defenses in this league. Osborne hulls it in. Gets it ahead, has about five yards. Eric Stokes getting there for the stop. You know, kid, over the years, I have heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. You got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. Stafford now on third down. Complete beyond the marker. 
And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. From the gun, a carry by Williams. And he sneaks this through the middle, maybe a gain of two. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. On second down, a run with Williams. He's only going to manage to get back to the line. That was Xavier McKinney that time with the tackle. Back-to-back -back runs, yielding just two yards, and now it's third and eight. Throwing now, Stafford. And that's a win for the pass rush. Hit as he threw it, leads to the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Well, that's one you chalk up to the pressure earning that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target, hit him, altered that last second attempt to get rid of it. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. So this one carries all the way to the sideline and out. No chance to make a play on that, and they'll take over at the 16-yard line. They're out and set, first and ten. Ready, ready. A gift to Jacobs on the inside handoff. And it took a couple of guys to haul him down there after a gain of just one. Okay, this one you gotta be careful to just run it always on first down. You gotta break your tendencies. The casual fan, well, that casual fan knew what was coming, but more importantly, this defensive front did too. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Let's go. Here's Love to throw. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Well, no luck on his first look of the game. And things look tougher now with third and long. Here we go. Love out of the shotgun. Short pass brought in. And they're able to touch him down, so that's going to bring up fourth down. Translatable skills. That's what you call it. So effective as a runner, but those same traits that make him a great runner, adept at getting those yards, well, he translates now as a receiver in the open field. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And he'll make the fair catch. Didn't make it to the 50. This one just short of midfield. No return on that punt. And it's going to be their football coming up. First and 10. Ball set up at the 48. Straight ahead with Williams. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Working from the gun, here's Stafford. Completed over the middle. And this is marked down right along that 40-yard line. You know, they really love that drag route because he's one of those guys that can count on not only to make the catch, but create after the catch. If they don't close on him quickly, he can add a lot of yards before someone tracks him down. On third down, here's Williams. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles. Going to the ground again on first. And that's only one yard up the middle. Going to be second down. 
Three quarters in the books from this one. It's Rams football. They trail late, but this game's still very much in reach. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Defense showing blitz, Stafford. And that pass complete to Osborne. And he's brought down at the 17-yard line. It's a gain of 12 there. And it brings up an L.A. first down. I'm sure, Coach, a play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. Throwing now on first down, Stafford. And this time they're going to get there, and they drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. Give to Williams from the gun. And that run very short, only getting to the 27. Only a couple there, hoping obviously for considerably more. And that's going to bring up third and very long. Stafford now against the blitz. Oh, he lost the football. And no turnover. It's going to stay with the offense. Almost the impact play this defense was searching for, but they could only get half the job done, partner. Fumble forced, but they couldn't recover. I'll tell you what else it forces, though. That coordinator, that play caller on the other side, now got a little bit of doubt about his ball handlers. Got to have better ball security than that. It's one of the biggest moments Joshua of the game for Joshua Cardi. Needs a good amount here, too. 51 yards away. Got all of it, and this is good! And in the fourth quarter, that's going to tie the game. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Defense. A fortunate break for them as they get a gift with roughing the kicker. Their offense heading back out to keep things going. And suddenly a chance to take the lead re-enters the picture following that penalty. They've got a man in motion. First down from the red zone. It's complete to Higby. And they're going to get this down to the four before being stopped. That one goes for 15, and now they're going to have first and goal. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Got that chip shot in their back pocket to tie it. A chance at the lead here first, though. First and goal. He's got it on the bootleg. And this time they're going to get there, and they drop him. And they're headed in reverse after that sack. It's a loss of nine. Now second and goal at the Packers' 12-yard line. Going the wrong way. It's second and goal now, back at the 12. Another try following the sack. This throw is cut. And they'll get this down nearly to the end zone. Instead, stopped at the two. Boy, they sure found the right route at the right time to hit the soft spot in that coverage. And that slant, it goes for big yardage. So now, here's third and goal. They'll look to run with Williams. And he's brought down for a loss. 
It's now fourth and goal. It's the two-minute warning here in L.A. Rams trail by a field goal. This one of the biggest moments of the game for Joshua Cardi. This just 21 yards down the pipe. Looking good, and it's through. And they've tied it up late in the fourth. It's such a confidence builder to a sideline. to an entire team, Kate, when you can rely and trust your kicker in these big moments. He tied it up, and now it's incumbent upon his defense to do their job. Nixon now to return it. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Packers and Jordan Love set to take over again. And I don't think we can really call these highlights, partner. Shall we just call them replays as we re-examine his performance so far in this one? Three interceptions mixed in among his work. It's really limited a lot of what he's been able to do out there. <laughs> Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Looking to throw it. Completes this one to Dante Vionwitz. And he crosses the sideline a yard or two beyond what looks like the 30. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Here he is to throw. Oh my goodness, it's intercepted! Picked up by Tredavious White. And the Rams take possession as he makes his fourth interception of our season. Well, Brock, it has been a special day for this defense when it comes to forcing turnovers. Big play after big play. And that is their fourth interception of this contest. Special for the defense and an absolute nightmare for a quarterback. One interception, it sticks with you all week long. But throwing four... He probably wishes he could be anywhere else on Earth other than this field right now. The Rams headed out to the field now. The game really in their hands at this point, Brock. We're going to see whether it's a celebration coming up next or overtime. Now to throw. Dump off caught by his back. And they get there to take him down right around the 41. Clock continuing to run as the Rams hurry to the line. Throwing now. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Just couldn't hang on through the contact. So they're left facing third and long. To throw. Oh no, the ball is loose! Packers pick it up! Has a hole left, room to run! And the defense has come through, they're in the end zone and that gives them the lead! Like a freight train leaving the station after scooping off that fumble. Oh, he got moving on his way to the end zone, Brock. Nice hustle from the big man. Is there anything more fun than seeing these big old human beings <laughs> get their chance to get on a scoreboard? You see nope. how it just ignites everybody. Anders Carlson to tack on the extra point. The point after splits the uprights. And the Packers break that tie and now lead by seven. Nice little energy on their sideline after that fumble return score. And with plenty of energy, he'll send this one away. And he opts not to bring this one out. So they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. Out come the Rams on offense. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into.
You know, Kay, I like to say in life, there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. He'll look to throw it. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Set. Setting up to pass. Wide open, downfield. Got it! And he gets him the touchdown. And now a potential game-deciding play call coming up. So they get the all-important touchdown here late in the game, Brock. Now the question, play for the tie or go for two and the lead? And I know they've got all these charts and numbers and analytics to tell you what to do, but this comes down to the gut and the trust of the head coach. Does he trust his offense more to go get this two-point conversion, or is he going to lean in his defense and believe that they can get the stop? On for the PAT, and a make would tie us up late. And everyone can breathe easier now. His try is good, and they found a way to tie it late in the fourth. The Rams kicking team is ready, and they're going to send this one away. Nixon now to return it. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Packers ready to run their offense back out there. And even with some time left, Brock, a long ways to go to get into range for a game winner. They're going to need to move it in a hurry. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Here he is to throw. Launches one deep downfield. And he's there to send that one away incomplete. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Back to throw. Taken in by Luke Musgrave. And the nice pickup ends beyond the 35 as he goes out. That's an 11-yard pickup and a gift. Now hang on, they want to take another look at this play. And a very important call coming up late in this game. We're all watching that sideline here, seeing where those feet came down. And no matter what they rule here, Kate, that was an outstanding effort just to make the catch. Yeah. Now we got to look and see, did he get both feet in with possession? After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. They took a look just to be safe. You always appreciate that, but the call on the field stands. On first and ten, here's Love. Finds a seam down the middle. They get there to touch him down, Brock, but a big gain on that play. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout. That's their first. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. In quite the time crunch here, Brock, but still two timeouts to burn. It's first down. Loves to throw again. Cut by Jacobs. For a short game. Now timeout taken by Green Bay. That's it, second. Still one more in their pocket to use. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Second down now, seven to go. Down. 
Handoff running right, Jacobs. And he's caught behind the line. Timeout taken by the Packers, their third and final one. And now they're powerless to stop that clock with a timeout at least. So a tough spot now. This is third and nine. He'll throw it. Throwing deep for the end zone. And they break the tie as it's caught for a touchdown. What a call, what a catch, Brock. And that's the play that should win this game. Absolutely clutch score there, Brock, as they take the lead here in the final minute. Incredible execution. The moment not too big for any of them. And, Kate, they cashed in when it really mattered. Carlson now to add one more. Boy, was it close, but the point after does go through. And the Packers break that tie and now lead by seven. The Packers about set to kick this one away, and away we go again. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Stafford from the gun. Escapes the pocket. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Throwing now, Stafford. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. Official singling timeouts. We've got whistles. Time left for one snap. And while we all know the odds are low, it's not impossible that they find a way to score. This offense looking to convert as they come up on third down. One final shot here. A bit of desperation on this deep shot. And this one falls incomplete. No miracles on the final drive today. This game is over. So this is a Packers win. And there was no easing up. It took some white knuckling until the very end. But their defense carried that small lead through to the finish line as they escape with the victory. So that'll do it for this one. With Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. The Packers are your winners as we say goodbye from Los Angeles.